So today I've got myself the Basis Thunderbolt C Plus Pro. It's a USB Type-C hub created specifically for the MacBooks. So this thing has multiple features. So you've got, you've got Thunderbolt 3 support, you've got Ethernet, you've got SD card readers, got 4K 30 output through the HDMI port. You've also got power delivery through that USB Type-C port, which also supports 87 watt power delivery. That is like the world's easiest unboxing ever. So here it is. Go ahead and just look at it first. So we've got the Thunderbolt 3, the HDMI, two types, type A ports, SD card, and then of course the dual slot thing. Ethernet. And underneath we get instruction manuals. We get stickers, <laughs> that's so cool. Check these out. Very interesting. Next, we've got some warranty stuff and then you got the instruction manual for this thing so let's go ahead and take it out so if you want to you can use the hdmi port or if you have a thunderbolt monitor you can use that as well so here it is the exterior is made of metal We've got the basis logo down there this logo showing of course this is the charging port ethernet over here you just pull this up to open up the slot. So here are the ports themselves. You got these covers as well. It's actually pretty light. So one benefit that this has over the other ones that I'm looking at, I saw the that it's, it's somewhere in the middle in terms of the price range. For a lot more, like 33% more, you'd have you'd be able to buy the hyperdrive. But the one problem with that is that the connector would sort of block out the speaker on this part. And then of course the other ones in this price range were slightly cheaper. All of them did not have the Ethernet port. So that's a nice benefit to towards this one. But what you gain with the Ethernet port you lose in connectivity, because this one only has one USB Type-C port, which is the same one you're going to be using as a charger. So that's unfortunate, but I don't really have that many Type-C to Type-C cables, so that's not a problem for me. So let's connect a mouse up first. So I've got this wireless mouse that I got for free with the TV. Let's connect that over right here. And there it is. It's working. Let me connect it. We can connect USB drive. And there it is. So far, my thoughts is working pretty fine. The one thing I, I am worried about is going to be is how this is going to handle getting bumped into because if something does go wrong there's a chance you might damage the ports on the macbook itself which is going to be very expensive to fix or this thing's just going to break which once again is not a cheap thing to replace but so far here's how it looks with the lid open and see and also pops out a bit here on the back It's very tight. It's actually really tight. It's not even letting go. That's not good. It's actually breaking it off. That's not good. So just be careful. These ports are very, very tight. And they risk damaging something. So be careful of that. Hopefully they get a bit looser over time. So far though, it's looking okay. But I'm just worried that these are going to start breaking stuff. <laughs> oh, and there's also this power indicator, as you can see. Just showing that this thing is on. So I'll give you a review of this later on, but so far it's looking okay. 